Hey, my name's Wes, and today we are going to be breaking down the pricing of videographers. So if you're hiring a videographer soon, or you're just curious about how much they cost, this video is for you. Today's video is going to be recapped in a blog post with a little bit more detail, a little bit more information. So check that out in the description below. Before starting my own video production company, I've worked as a freelancer for over 10 years working in Vancouver, Toronto, and Montreal, and now running my own video production company. So I've gained a lot of insight into how much videographers cost and how it fluctuates across Canada. A videographer is someone who captures video for a variety of purposes, and they're usually handling the filming and the editing. This can include recording the video, directing, recording audio, and adding any lighting. I think a distinction worth noting is the difference between a cameraman and a videographer. A videographer usually handles all aspects of the production that could be lighting, filming, and directing. And a cameraman is someone on set, someone in the film industry, in the video industry that only operates the camera. Now these can be used interchangeably, but generally speaking a videographer handles everything no matter where you are in Canada all videographers charge in a very similar way whether or not you see it on your invoice or on your quote it's usually broken down into multiple parts filming video editing and sometimes gear filming rates videographers usually give you a full day or a half day rate and if it's a really short shoot it could be an hourly rate as well the reason they simplify their fee into half day or full day rates is that even if the shoot is only 20 minutes for example there's a lot of things that goes on behind the scenes before the actual recording takes place this can include planning creating a shot list preparing your cameras your gear and then when you get the location setting up installing the equipment the actual filming and then packing up all your equipment and then going back to your home or office where you're going to transfer all the footage onto hard drives and, and organize the footage. So a 20 minute shoot could actually take half a day. Estimating how long an edit will take can be a challenging task, especially when it comes to maybe a style that the videographer is not really familiar with. Uh, from my experience, it can be broken down in two different ways, time estimation and hourly rate. A videographer will estimate how long the edit will take place, if it's four hours, eight hours, seven hours, and whatever it is, they will charge a slightly less rate than their filming rate, just because they don't have to leave the office, they don't have to leave their house. On the other hand, some editors will charge an hourly rate straight from the beginning. They'll give their client an estimation of how long it'll take, but they'll count the hours and send the invoice at the end. Estimating how long a video will take to edit can be a challenging task. So some videographers, some video editors will just do an hourly rate from the start. Revisions are corrections or changes made after the video has been completed. These are usually charged in three ways. Number one, the videographer offers unlimited revisions included in the price. Number two, the videographer charges an hourly rate for any revisions, or after a certain number of revisions are completed, an hourly rate is applied. Number three, the videographer provides another estimate for each round of revisions. There are some videographers who add a gear fee when charging clients. To me, this is like a, an Airbnb fee, and I just feel like the clients shouldn't have to see that amount. So if they're charging $500, they'll add $250 for their gear. How much do videographers charge? There are many different types of videographers in the industry, so we're gonna break down pricing based on what niche they're filming in. Corporate videographer. Videographers who work with businesses or corporations often are paid the most. There is a certain level of skills and professionalism required in order to work in this niche. And when you can master it, it comes with a higher fee. It can be also more demanding as corporate clients have a better eye on the details and will require multiple, multiple revisions. Corporate filming rates. A corporate day rate for filming will be between $500 and $1,500. And a half day rate, 350 to 800. Day rates for editing can be between 300 and 1300. Half day rates from 200 to 800. And hourly from $30 to $150. The cost of a typical corporate video for a full day of filming and editing will cost around $1,800. In the blog post, I break the pricing down even further, so check that out in the description below. The wedding industry is super popular among videographers because you don't really need a lot of skill to start in it and the clients aren't usually looking for anything super professional. 
I filmed all sorts of videos over the last 10 years and weddings are still imprinted in my mind as some of the most stressful shoots I've been on. 14 hour days with no breaks and you really only get one shot because if you mess it up, you are in trouble. So this is why wedding videos cost so much money and this is why wedding videographers charge a higher rate. In most scenarios, you would hire a videographer to film and edit your wedding so everything will come packaged together. A typical wedding video will range from 750 to 30 $3,500 generalist videographer. A generalist videographer is someone who takes all the jobs that come to them and really doesn't fall into one specific niche. This could be promotional videos, music videos, event videos, product videos. From my experience, these type of videographers can be less experienced and, and may still be figuring out their, their niche. Generalist filming rates. Day rates from $250 to $950. Half day rates from $200 to $500. Generalist video editing rates. Day rates from $100 to $500. Half day from $100 to $300. And an hourly rate for editing at $20 to $50. The cost of a typical video from a generalist for a full day of filming and full day of editing will land you at about $950 videographer slash director of photography. There are some people in the industry who ride the line between videographer and director of photography. A director of photography is someone who works on film sets or on advertisements and is in charge of the overall look of the video. They're super knowledgeable about lighting, cameras, and they really control the visuals and the style of the video. It's very common for them to own higher priced equipment, higher quality equipment than your average videographer and can often and produce a much more impressive image. I consider myself a corporate videographer, but I get hired as a director of photography by other video production companies because they are looking for more than just a cameraman. They want someone who can make the image look really good and, and just above average. A day rate for filming will go between $700 and $1,800. And a half day for filming, $650 to $1,200. For a director of photography editing, a day rate between $300 and $1,300 and a half day rate from $200 to $800. Working with some clients can be super straightforward, like another video production company, for example, while others can be a little bit more complicated. Videographers typically have three ways of getting hired by agencies, by other video production companies, or directly by the end client of the video. But the rates will fluctuate depending on who the end client is. How do you find the right videographer? The only way to really feel comfortable when hiring a videographer is to make sure they film the same type of video or the similar type of video than you're looking for. The main way to do this is by checking out their website, checking out their portfolio and seeing what kind of videos they've been making recently. If you don't see any relevant examples, I suggest asking them if, if they have any, because from my personal experience, I filmed way too many videos to fit them all on my website. So it's always best to ask, What's the difference between a videographer and a video production company? A videographer is usually a one man band type person who handles all aspects of the filming himself. Now the videographer could work with another videographer in tandem, but generally each one works independently. On the other side, a video production company is a collective of people or the video production company hires a collective of people to handle bigger jobs that may require multiple people. They usually take on bigger projects with bigger budgets the best way to pay videographers in Canada. The easiest and most common way to pay a videographer is by e-transfer. If you're part of a larger company, then an EFT or check will also be fine. And if you're located outside of Canada, then sending a wire transfer or through PayPal will also work. Keep your videographer happy and don't make them pay for the wire transfer or PayPal fees. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. See you in the next video.